So it's from Glasgow here on Radio 3. Right, uh, to break that spell somewhat recklessly, here is a blast of Sally Beamish coming up, a tiny orchestral piece by Sally called Reckless. And then after that, we're going to hear a youthful Mozart symphony at the end of this concert. Uh, first, so we have a quick word from our conductor, Chloe. Uh, so Reckless is a piece that uh, has a lot, a lot of rhythmical patterns. And in the meantime, for instance, the strings have a very steady accompaniment. So it's, it's between different patterns in, in the whole piece, actually. It's this kind of, yeah, it is reckless. It's changing patterns all the time for me, the conductor. So I have to be very concentrated. But in the, in the same time, it's very groovy. And the Mozart is also not... It's not a sad Mozart at all. Even the second movement is not, it's not slow. So nothing is slow, it's actually quite a fast symphony. So it goes well together because actually the energy from Reckless is going straight into a light Mozart and very, all the sound are quite uplifted and there are no kind of weird passages except the development section of the first movement that starts really weird and I've asked them to, to, to have a raw sound something quite actually not nice to hear because Mozart we think oh this is beautiful but actually some some passages are not beautiful and perhaps this is also a link with reckless the music is not supposed to be all beautiful it can be raw really raw and daring to be raw daring to be raw keep that in mind in this next piece we're about to hear Chloe Van Zotersted conducting the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra in Reckless by Sally Beamish
BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra and the conductor Chloe Van Zotersted with that blazing flash of colour from Sally Beamish. The piece is called Reckless. It was originally commissioned for young players of the South Bank Symphonia, brout and bounding writing. Uh, so much of Sally's music emerges from earthy energies, sea currents, rivers, also folk material and jazz. And yeah, can't you just hear bits of all of that in that three minute splash? Well, taking us up to five o'clock here at City Halls in Glasgow, we have Mozart's 34th Symphony. So Mozart is writing this right before he moves to Vienna. He's 24 years old. He's in his hometown of Salzburg, which at the time he considers to be extremely boring and provincial. Uh, he's employed as a court organist, but he's actually spending most of his time dreaming bigger, writing symphonies like the one we're about to hear, which blaze.